So, <laughs> um, we started probably about a day and a half behind on the physical structure of the set, and um, that's pushed everything back, so no dry tech, no uh, paper tech really, just right into the stage with the actors, and um, we're still teching. It's about day four and a half, about 14 hour days. Everybody's a little fried. Getting a little scared because there's not real time for runs. We've had about four different video interviews that have been pushed back. I've had to reschedule a photo call. I think I'm going to have to cancel again tomorrow. The goal, finish tech today, but that's probably not going to happen. Run the show for the first time tomorrow night, once on Saturday, paying audience on Monday night. So it's, it's getting down to the wire. Uh, we're going to be great. We're, this, is, this is our sweet spot. The immortalists work best under pressure. This is when we, uh, we all band together and try not to kill each other and put it all on the stage. That's a very limited life. Life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact, and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. What do you want to see, and can you create it for yourself? And that's what we've dedicated the past six years to trying to do. What do you want to see, and can you create it for yourself? So the Cheetahs Club is the closest thing the Immortalists have ever done to a musical. It's bigger than most musicals, honestly. Yeah, the scale of it is, is incredible. It's huge, yeah. It's a two-story house. It's quite a set. It's a huge fucking show. There's no doubt about it. It's massive. It's just a huge undertaking. Probably the biggest project I've ever worked on. Just the time that's gone into the show. So even though we've been here only a week, feels probably close to one month, to be honest. I've been here for nine days, and most of them have been 12 hours. 12 hours isn't, isn't the end of the world. Almost 12 hours a day for seven days. You get here around 10 and work till 10. Everyone just dedicating every minute of their time to making this production come together. Yesterday was our day off, and I felt like sleeping in, but I got a call from James saying, hey, we need some help. And it's about saying I'm tired, but we're also tired. So I don't want to be a little bitch about it. I just thought I'd come in and help out. Everybody's here because this is a huge labor of love. Huge labor of love. Huge labor of love. First is the experience. It gets a visual impression of his mother's face. Then there's memory. It builds up memories of this image that it can draw on. And then there's imagination. It can extrapolate from those memories and look for somebody who looks like the memories and recognise its mother. Who are you? You looking at me? I'm looking at you. Me? You? Fuck you. All right, you can go spooky or go goofy. I think I'm gonna go goofy. Whoever ain't here by fucking, what time is it? Whoever's not here by 12 o'clock and ready to go, I'm gonna fucking put my fist in their ass. In their ass. In their ass.
<laughs> like I got shit organized over here. I'll slam my fucking fingers in the door this morning. Have a little bit of a bad day. My life's in shambles. I need something to be organized. You find my cummerbund. I'll do whatever you like. I love you all. But can we please pick an area and stay to it? Like uh, the girls' dressing room? <laughs> Does anybody have hairspray, maybe? Which guy? Wait, who's the guy who's that guy? Who is this guy? Like the idea that we built this play, whose first draft was delivered, you know, not even like four months ago. It's more than just a little ridiculous. We're all putting in all this time and energy for a five and a half week run. It's kind of mind-numbing and stupid. But that's the best part. That's like what you want to do. Yeah. That's your life, you know. It's right. fucking theater, man. Yeah. Incredibly stressful. Yeah. That's a huge undertaking. We started out in a black box theater to be able to build an actual in on stage. A daunting task. It's an incredible risk. Let's just hope it pans out. Fuck this shit. Let me fucking figure this shit out. God damn it. Sucks. Better ideas than what I present are very useful to me. So if I have a suggestion and you don't immediately have a better idea, shut the fuck up. If you do, I'll shut the fuck up. Okay? That's your strategy. Oh, shit. Try to do this. Yeah. Over 100 hours of tech. You know what that does to you? You want to pull your dick out and beat yourself with it. It's really satisfying to sit in the audience and just see all the technical aspects and everything come together on this enormous, daunting set. Working with the cast of 26 is insane in the best ways possible and the worst ways possible. A lot of people to corral, which is a uh, good challenge and exciting. It's got live music on stage, got some people dancing, it's completely scored and underscored with original music. It's different than anything else we've ever done by miles.